Yes, 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 my people, what's happening? So today, it's another big day for the working time, you get me? So yes, yeah, so with my bro Compton Kennels, he's holding on the working thing with me right now. We got it going on. So we got Rosetta there. So Rosetta's from Nef K9. You know my guy Hachi. We'll have to put something, a little clip of Hachi anyway. <laughs> It's a Riz, uh, Rizzo bomber, and then you know we got Dell. That's from Apex. That's from Glitch Zena, and then we got the new thing about to land. Let's not talk too much about the new thing. We're just gonna get straight into the new thing. Let's go. So I just got down there. I'm with Lewis from Perfection. Come to get the new puppy. So he's gonna give you a little rundown on the bloods and stuff of where the puppy come from. So he's come down today to collect his boy. The boy is one of the largest of the litter. The pedigrees of the dogs, the bloodlines, the Dutch herders. The mom, I own myself a dog called Maggie. She is bought from a man called Ian Morgan at Larockmore nearly two years ago now. She's done good in the trial scene. Very powerful bitch, confident. Half of the time she can be self-employed. Got a lot of independence about her and she's got a very good strong strong stature she comes down from a line called kuno this is a well-bred dog yeah, in yeah. holland yeah yeah and the dad i used to match this dog is a dog called togo togo last year won a sport called kmpv in holland he scored 430 points out to 431 in his trial yeah, no. which yeah. then progressed him to the championships he then won the kmpv championships two months later so is he the champ is he the champion yeah and then he went on to win the champions of champions Shit, all in like no. three months Quick thing. So he's bred by a man called Dennis Pegg, Peggy yeah. Police Lines. The, mm -hmm. the dad is a dog called Tommy. This dog hits hard. He's, there's okay. no holding back. There's no self-preservation. -pres he just mm -hmm. hits real hard. The mom side is it's quite different because they've got a bit of MBVK yeah. lines in there, which gives them a bit more edge. They're still highly prey-driven dogs, but yeah. in my opinion, they've got more civil side to them. Okay. More than the KMP. Would you say, would, is, is, that, is the dad side as well a bit civil? Oh, yeah. The, okay, the, yeah. They're good dogs, if you know, mm -hmm. if you're about Dennis Peggy's yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a big role model in Holland. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the breeding's turned out how I planned. Yeah. They've got a nice structure, very, very, very thick bone dogs for the age. But due to them having so much of a high prey drive, once you do kick them into gear with bite work, they tend to want to be latching onto your leg, getting okay. the self in drive yeah, 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 yeah. when it comes Anything, to yeah, yeah, introducing yeah. new environmental yeah, yeah, yeah. things. So what would you what would you advise me to do when I take him so take him home? The pup six weeks old, I advise you to go, especially being from London, take it to train stations. Oxford Street, get on the mm -hmm. tube with it. Everywhere you can go, but do not let the dog be on the floor, on the lead pulling, because look how young the dog is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be overwhelming for the dog, mm -hmm. being such a small dog and in such a big place. Mm -hmm. So to mm -hmm. get your bond certified and get get a good bond very fast, yeah. hold the boy everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hold him, show him life, show him cars, show him all these things. And what about like people and stuff like that, wanting to come and interact? Yes. Let them interact? Hell yeah. Okay, so. 100%. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, all right. For me, mm -hmm. I want all my dogs not, worrying about people that they're okay. a threat. Yeah, so if yeah, you, yeah. one of those guys is like, don't stroke my dog, don't stroke my yeah. dog. Well, it's a six week old puppy, even up to teething. Yeah. Then you can end off, end up with a dog that's Skept standoffish. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 what's yeah, that yeah, man yeah. about there? Is he good? But because they haven't built that confidence where, oh, nobody's a threat. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Everyone can stroke yeah, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, Everyone's yeah, yeah. always soft. Would you say it's easier to control than in training as well? Like when they're not like as so stand focused and yes, stand off with people. Because that can add towards like this big man's here, I'm biting the sleeve, I yeah. don't actually know what for, and the dog can be oh, yeah, yeah, okay. pull it, pull it, pull it. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. want the dogs confident with humans. Yeah, yeah. In my yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah. if your dog's not scared of humans from the get-go and it's like nobody's a threat, everybody can fuss the dog. Mm -hmm. When it does go through teething, after that, when you do be like, right, I don't want people to fuss my dog anymore. Yeah. The dog's never yeah, he's there, but he's no threat. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when it's time okay. to teach certain pictures to the dog yeah it's more they're clear. never under any pressure yes, from the yes, human yes. so All that's right. the main thing no, that man. I think. Well, come on as you look and see we're not messing about we're only trying to get from the exclusive so yeah let's get into this pup let's go so this is your boy you said you wanted a big stamp you can see he's mm -hmm. got that chiseled off nice square head yeah he's the biggest out the litter the chest on him super strong for me like he'd be the one i was keeping if i was after a brindle but i'm keeping a brindle so Yes. He's confident, man. Main thing is now just finding him a name and just building yeah, a bond. he's got a name still. You just got to build your bond. And make sure you go to like professional trainers. So go to yeah. Apex, go to La Rockmore, go come up to see me, wherever you want to go. But just make sure you, you haven't got any and any, anyone on the sleeve. Just yeah, know yeah, yeah. it's all got to be play. Yeah, Everything yeah, yeah. play at first, yeah? And just introduce him. Have structure, regular sessions, weekly if you can, because you've only got 
another eight weeks until teething. Yeah. And I'd advise you close the chapter then once he starts teething. Just, just, just luring, yeah. lots of obedience, working engagement, not actually putting commands to it. He will be nice, he's very nice. He's got no yes. white, deep, deep red. So yeah, everybody meet man like Bayern. We're based in Kidderminster. We do a lot of PSA. You can find us on Instagram and yeah. Facebook. Poor so you lot are trialing the PSA up at your ground? Yeah, so we held two trials last year. Yeah. First two in England. Okay. There's one on in March that's in Chester. It's a place called Crown PSA, mm -hmm. April Holmes place. And then we're hosting one in July and we're hosting another decoy certification again in summertime as well. Okay. But, um, so yeah, everybody yeah. make sure you lot follow Paul perfection as well. We've got the PSA happening. So where's that? That's from America. So you're yeah, the first one to bring it down to yeah. England and let people get certified decoys and stuff like that down exactly, at your spot, yeah. yeah? It's an American dog sport, but for me, you can utilize that dog sport in your everyday life as in personal protection as well. Mm -hmm. The obedience is very strict and advanced, but you yeah. can add your own spin on things. It's not mm -hmm. all textbook. I have so many exercises to do to yes, title yes, the dogs. Yes, yes. So would you say, is this more of like a modern sport now for exactly. people that want to add more, more stuff into than it be exactly. so. It has bits of every sport in my opinion. There's still so it's a bit like the MMA of the dog scene. Exactly that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, straight away. All yeah. right, man, like buying, yeah. Good luck with him, bro. Good boy. Good boy. Good. See, look, he ain't pulling on his back legs. He ain't like pushing the weight away. Some puppies they want to pull, pull, pull. Okay, Full of possession. So he's saying he's got good possession already, yeah. They all um, the whole litter. <laughs> Ah, good boy. So you're happy with the production from this litter, yeah? Yeah, on a whole. A mad stamp as well, they're, oh. they're thick, man. One thing I say, yeah, don't worry about this for this first week. The yeah, main yeah. thing you start doing with We're him just building. is bond, so yeah, he knows yeah, yeah. dad's never going to put him in an unsafe predicament, yeah? yeah because yeah, otherwise, yeah. then if you, once you've built that trust with the dog, you see a hell of a lot more confidence come. From the on the field, yeah. knowing yo, it's just training with dad. If you don't put that proper bond in the first week, you're gonna have a problem. Just make sure you start bonding with him, bro. And then don't let the chew in. Don't let the chew in, yeah? So as soon as he loses it, I just steam him back up, boom, then I'll just put it away. He's a good looking dog, man. <laughs> Very good. Yes, bro. And he's stable. Fine. Very stable. What's happening, mate? All right. Strong back legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a nice head as well. Look at his head. So what, what, would, it, what would he be classed as, a Dutch herder? Yeah, he's a Dutch herder. Yeah. But the only thing is people in Holland will state that colour as a Malinois. They okay. Say, oh, you had two Dutch herders, five Malinois, oh, okay. that colour, yeah? So would, would he be classed as a Malinois? He, in my opinion, in, so, no, he's okay. a Dutch herder. He's, okay, got, he's, cool. he's got a BRN number. Yeah. And he's from like Dutch herder lines. But the, the way people associate them in Holland, they call this a Malinois. But, it's a Dutch herder. Yeah, like yeah, Malinois, yeah. in my opinion, is like an FCI, Belgian or French yeah. dog, a lot thinner boned, haven't mm. really got that thick yeah, yeah, structure. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, man. Lewis Cuz. Bro, good luck with him, yeah? Cuz. Yes, <laughs> bruv. Let's get him home, boy. All right, bun. Let's hit the roads. He's coming back to the ends. Let's go. got back from perfection. So we got the young champion bind there. Compton, what are you telling me? We're just gonna give him a little wash and that before we get him in. Give his nose a little trim and everything so he's just in nice and comfy, you know what I'm saying? That's how we initiate all our dogs before they come into the house. So yeah, let's give him a little wash anyway. <laughs> Good. Wrap him up. He's getting a raw initiation. You wrap him up there, get him to a nice dry state. What we'll do, we'll get a little food on the go for him, yeah? Let's go. So we're getting prepared. The little Malagator, the little Dutchy food. So we've got some beef and tripe. As you lot know already, Animal Prime sent us out a load of samples of their new supplements coming, as I said in the last video. So he's getting a bit of the multivitamin, a tiny bit of the garlic and fenugreek oil. And I'm also going to give him a little bit of prebiotic just to make sure he's got a nice healthy gut because he just got wormed just before I got him. Give it a little mix up, all his vitamins. Even though he's already been wormed, now he's getting a bit 
the natural worm in. Let's go and feed him his last meal for the night. Our new Malligator bine. Yes. Look at this little fuzzy head boy. All right. Bine. So he's eating his first meal. Look, he's straight on the animal prime as well. So big them lot up. Look at this geezer. Go on, son. Obviously, I like to put my hands in the bowl, make sure they're comfortable with me as well. Make sure they, they know. But yeah, got our new one in there. Man like buying. Follow my boy Compton Kennels as well. Coming up in this thing differently. Let's go.